Okay, okay, I'm going to get right into our lesson today. I really think that it might be a good idea for you to grab a pen and paper because this is going to be an information and content packed video for you. And it's about a topic that doesn't sound exciting, but it's a truly important topic and I really want to make this video for you because I see this problem holding so many of my clients back from achieving the physique that they want and deserve. And the topic is injuries. And I want to go over the seven biggest pitfalls that I see guys and girls making that's killing their chances of getting the physique that they want and deserve. Now injuries is an overlooked problem and it needs to be addressed and you need to get the correct information about this topic. So that's what today's video lesson is all about. Okay so the first major pitfall that I see being made and you gotta stay with me here because you're gonna say ah, I know this I know this but you know what you probably do but you might not know it to this extent. So failing to warm up alright failing to warm up is a problem. How do we warm up properly? Well, we need to create adequate blood flow to the targeted muscle group before our working sets. I, for one, am known to use extra warm-up sets than my training partners. I've always done this because I know that my joints are very, very difficult to get loose and to get ready to start lifting some heavy weight. Don't be afraid to take extra warm-up sets. You need to create adequate blood flow to that targeted muscle group and to that targeted joint area. Also, you know, some cardiovascular stuff or five to 10 minutes on a bike, that's great. And a lot of people think that that's gonna be just fine as a warm-up, but it's not. You need to create adequate blood flow to the targeted muscle group. And usually that's just doing lighter versions of that particular exercise that you plan on going heavy on. So that's tip number one. Number two, overtraining. Overtraining is very common, yet not a lot of guys can identify that they're in an overtrained state. You have to be very conscientious of this because if you're lifting hard and you're working out hard, you can fall into this trap you need to be able to identify and recognize if you haven't made progress in two or more weeks. You need to identify if you feel a lack of motivation, extra fatigue, extra soreness. Full recovery is imperative before you step back into the gym and break yourself down even further. You need to pay attention to this because it is one of the most important things that stops guys and girls from achieving the body that they want. So if you feel like you're in an overtrained state, do not be afraid to take an entire week off from the gym. It can be very beneficial for you. In general terms, we like to take the approach of every 12 weeks of training deserves at least one full week off. If it's a nine week training program, usually a half a week off, okay, well three or four days off. But for every 12 weeks, take an entire week off from the gym to allow yourself to recover and reprime for further development. The next problem is psychological, okay. A lack of concentration or being anything less than 100% zoned in before your working sets results in a susceptibility to injury. You must be in 100% total concentration when you engage your set. It doesn't matter what your conversation was 10 seconds before or what your conversation is going to be 10 seconds after. While you are lifting that weight in that working set, there's nothing else in your mind other than what you're trying to accomplish with that set. That's it. Four. Back to one that you've probably heard of and makes sense, poor weight selection, okay? Lifting weights that are too heavy and just moving the weight instead of intentionally creating tension leaves you susceptible to injury, okay? A solution for this is simply understand and accept that you're going to check your ego at the door. It's not about the number that's on the dumbbell. It's about how heavy you can make that weight feel to your muscles. You need to concentrate on the time under tension that you're putting on that targeted muscle group and making lighter weights feel heavier to your muscles. Five, lack of adequate nutrition. This is also another topic that's not talked about much. A lot of the time injuries are directly correlated with a glaringly missing nutrient that often leads to a severe inflammation in one's body. Supplementing with something like omega-3 fish oils is a great weapon to use to reduce inflammation, improve joint health and longevity. Six, flexibility. Lack of range of motion equals high injury susceptibility. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to drag that one out. Seven, this is a biggie, muscle imbalances. Okay, oftentimes muscle weaknesses are also created over time from continually doing the same exercises and working the same muscle groups in the same order week after week. We need to try and move our weaker muscles to the start of our workout when they are most fresh. 
I did something else for you now, and I, what I did is I listed, or I'm going to list, the six exercises I want you to be most conscientious about and understand that these six exercises, in my experience, have left people more prone and susceptible to injury than any other exercises that I've been around. What I'm saying is these exercises can put you in a dangerous spot if you're not concentrating and doing them properly. One, squats. This is very difficult for a lot of people, and a lot of injuries come about in the lower back and knees. Deadlifts is number two. That's obvious. That's, a, that's definitely a problem for the lower back for a lot of people. You need to be concentrating on your form. Shrugs is number three. Okay, Spine, neck, and lower back are all susceptible to injury if these are not done properly and with care. Four, dips, Okay, which is tough on the elbows and rotator cuff if you're not in correct form. Five is flies, which is obviously very difficult for a lot of people that have had rotator cuff injuries or shoulder susceptibility issues. This is something you have to concentrate on and keep your form in check. Six is skull crushers. Skull crushers require plenty of warm-up sets in my experience. Make sure that your form's in check and plenty of warm-up sets before skull crushers. Okay, be smart and think in terms of longevity. That's a message I want to leave with you today. These are all things that you need to be aware of and that I think will help you create a healthy, pain-free, and great-looking physique in the years to come. I thought it was an important enough video to make for you, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you take some of these tips, use them, and apply them, and um, you keep rocking. Okay? We'll talk to you soon.